Hey all, welcome to this talk today. Three big questions to fix any issue in Civil 3D. So I'm feeling bold today and we're gonna crack this down to three questions that can fix any issue and help isolate which path to fix and come to resolve with anything going wrong in Civil 3D. So today's agenda, Civil 3D is broken. And this is gonna be a handy guide to a path to a resolution. So the three big questions. So question one, specific to one file. Question two, is it specific to one machine? And question three, is this occurring with multiple machines and files? So, and we're gonna break down each one of these in the upcoming slides. So question one, specific to one file. So I define this issue as issue is re reproducible in one file on multiple machines. So what that means is that if you're seeing an issue in a file and something's not working, whatever it is, can your coworker open it up and see the same issue? Um, they should be in the same environment. So like, you know, you're both sitting next to each other in the office. Do they see the issue as well? If they see the issue as well, then that indicates it's a corrupt file. It's a file specific issue. It's highly unlikely that there are issues with multiple files across multiple installs that defaults to a corrupt file. So if you're seeing the same issue across multiple machines, then, you, then the odds are it's a corrupt file. So I got this great video, it's about 20 minutes long. Uh, you see it in the, the card here um, in this video uh, to click on, and it's how to fix a corrupt uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D file. So in the process, of, you know, I break it down into three big things in order to resolve it. So first thing to really think about is, is it specific to one file? And is it a corrupt file that is causing it? Okay, path two here, specific to one machine. So specific to one machine is same thing. I have my coworker sitting next to me in the office. I have an issue with Civil 3D. My coworker does the same thing. He does not see the issue. So what that indicates is issue is reproducible in one or multiple files on a specific machine in the same environment. So when I say your coworker, it's the next to you in the office. So that this really eliminates like, is there a server involved with VPN, people in and out of the office that can, that can uh, bring on unforeseen issues that uh, with, with Civil 3D. So same environment. Now, what this issue is, is there's something wrong with your machine that is not wrong with your coworker's machine. So this is a machine specific issue. And there can be a, a lot of different, you know, a few different things that can that can be causing this. So where to start? Missing updates. I have a video for this. You'll see it in the, in the card right there. How to insult updates for Civil 3D. So bottom line, focus on Civil 3D updates and the built-on technology. Watch the video. It's helpful. Corrupt install. So there can be an issue with your installation. Maybe something went wrong. Maybe your install is old. Uh, do you want to uninstall, reinstall? Uh, that's that could be it. That could be a good thing to you know shake things. Uh, profile, so your Civil 3D profile, all those customizations, things get customized, things can break along the way in some way, shape, or form. Uh, you can, I have this nice video for resetting your profile and also backing it up in case it doesn't fix it. So check that video out as well. Next thing, hardware. So it could be something to do with your hardware. Your, you know, it could be your, your graphics card or it could be your monitor's display or it could be your docking station could be your PC, it could be, the, you know, maybe you're running it on a very, you know, below the minimum requirements of RAM for your PC. So hardware, it's always good to investigate that. Last thing not included here is your Windows profile. So it's a good idea to test a different Windows profile. You know, does it work on another one? Maybe it's some sort of permission rights thing. Uh, so one thing to really, when you get into machines is assuming tests in the same environment, coworker sitting next to you, no VPNs, no, um, no, no, uh, no, no uh, outside connections or things like that that are going to be different in one environment that is different than yours. Okay, occurring with multiple machines and files. So issue, issue is re reproducible in multiple files with all machines in the same environment. So this is the you know this is one of the ones you don't really want to have happen because this is, this can be kind of broad. So now you know it's not a corrupt file and now you know it's not a corrupt installation. So it could be corrupt installation. Let's talk about that in one second. So issue is it could be your environment. So a server issue. 
Um, it could be make sure you're on a supported server, not like no OneDrive, or you know, make sure you're following Autodesk uh, Microsoft standards for a server. Deployment. So when I say it could be an install, is if you have a custom deployment that everybody's on, then there could be something wrong with that deployment. So good idea to get a fresh install from manage.autos.com. You don't necessarily need to use that install, but test with it. Throw that on there. Is that something that's, uh, are you seeing that issue with that default install? Then you can isolate things. Last thing, it could be software related. So, you know, one thing you want to do is can you reproduce it from a NTS template file from scratch. Let's make a simple test. Does that happen? If it doesn't happen, then you know it's not a software issue, or um, then it, then you then it's something else. Um, if it does happen, then you know there's something wrong with the software, and it's nothing you've done wrong. It's uh, Autodesk needs to fix it. So, but the bottom line with this is you need to isolate it further. You need to figure out, you know, get things to where things you can trust. Get a default install. Uh, Test things locally. Bring things down from that network. See if that fixes it. But when you have multiple machines and multiple files, it usually indicates that there's a global issue that, you know, server, deployment, maybe software, but you need to isolate it down further. So thank you for your time. Bit of a crash course. So those three big questions just to sum things up. Is it happening in one file or multiple files? Is it happening on one or multiple machines? Is it happening on multiple machines? and in multiple files. So those three questions really help you isolate these issues and not spend time trying to fix something, doing other things that might not necessarily resolve your problem. So thank you for your time and have a great rest of your week.